extra large Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. So I am super excited today. We have an extra large Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Lots of new items have been folded into the Dollar Tree, and it's super exciting. Lots of new items, lots of name brands, and a ton more. Now, I didn't buy everything. I wanted to, but I didn't buy everything. So if you want to take a look at what um, all came into the Dollar Tree, definitely check out my Dollar Tree Shop With Me's. Some amazing finds in both of them. Every Wednesday, I post a Dollar Tree Shop With Me. And then on Sunday, if I find some really amazing items, I will post a bonus Dollar Tree Shop With Me. And I will link those videos at the end of this video, and they will be pinned in the comments. Please feel free to take a look at those. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So I did find some amazing food items, um, kind of repurchases for me, a couple of new items that I've been picking up at the DT just because it's simply cheaper than the grocery store. I don't know what's going on with these grocery prices, but if you've noticed, they have skyrocketed. It's getting kind of scary how expensive things are at the grocery store. So one thing that I have been using, it's been a staple in my house, is the chicken broth. And this one is actually pretty good. It's the gluten-free, no added MSG, um, Kendall Farm chicken broth. It's only a buck twenty-five. I think the one I bought at the grocery store was like $3 and I was like, never again. So this is going to be a staple item that I constantly purchase because it's way cheaper than the grocery store. So I went ahead and purchased one of these. Um, I've been doing a lot of crock pot stuff. So I did the loaded baked potato soup in the crock pot that came out so good. And then I did like some shredded chicken. Um, it was with uh, the Campbell's condensed chicken soup and then some shredded chicken and some seasoning. And that came out really, really good. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe making a chicken pot pie out of that shredded chicken. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out these crock pot dishes. They're so much easier than trying to make a meal at the end of the day. It's just set, put it all in a pot, eight hours, done. I love that. Okay, um, I did buy some white chicken. Um, my husband likes chicken salad. He also likes tuna salad. So um, it's way cheaper at Dollar Tree unless there's a sale. Like sometimes you'll go to the grocery store like on Wednesdays and they have like a 10 for 10 sale. And that's when I usually stock up, but I am completely out. This is my husband's last week of like soft foods. He's going to be done with his dental work on the 15th, which I am so for it. I'm so ready because, you know, we're getting ready to go to Thanksgiving and Christmas and I just want them to be able to enjoy the holidays and eat all the delicious food that's going to be coming. So I did get the Kreider um, Deluxe White Chicken. You get 4.5 ounces in water. I grabbed two cans of these to make us some chicken salad for his lunches for work and then he loves tuna too and I love the albacore white tuna and this is by Brunswick. It's in water. Um, I bought two cans of these as well, and this is the regular five ounce can. So I thought that was a great deal. The puppies got up because they probably heard bags rustling. They're so nosy. Um, I did buy, and I did open it to try it out, the Hawaiian Punch Juicy On The Go Drink Mix. I'm trying my best to stay away from um, soda. I love Coca-Cola, I love Pepsi, but I really, really love Coca-Cola, especially like fountain drinks from like a, you know, a restaurant or even like a McDonald's has the best Coca-Cola or is it Pepsi now? I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's so good, but I got to stay away from it because it's so bad for your skin and your teeth. And I know this is probably just as bad with the, well, it doesn't have any sugar. Oh, okay. It does have 35 milligrams of sodium and two grams of total carbohydrates. I can't find my water, you know, the water stuff I like putting in my water. I have not found that yet. So I grabbed one of these. I wanted water, 
but I wanted something sweet to drink when I was out in my adventures and um, I didn't want to get a soda. So I grabbed one of these and I put it in my water. It actually tastes pretty good. And I have the rest of the packs that fell out in the bag, but yeah. So I grabbed that. I'm going to drink it, you know, during the week. Um, I also grabbed a package of the Bumblebee a Lemon and Pepper. I thought this would be a good snack for my husband. Um, when I don't do tuna for him right now, he is munching on the mac and cheese I made. I also made the loaded baked potato soup, so I've been switching those out. But I'll be out of that, and I usually just keep it for a few days, and then I throw it out. I think we'll be done with it, though. I don't think there's going to be any leftovers, like, as far as, like, anything to throw out. So I grabbed this for um, to put in his lunch the rest of the week. And then I also grabbed my chicken flavor dog food that I get at the Dollar Tree. It's not their complete meal guys so don't think that don't think I give my dogs Dollar Tree food I use it as a topper the toppers are so expensive at the like Petco or what do we go I forgot what it's called it's like it's not called Petco it's not PetSmart it's not that it's like a small mom and pop store that we go to to buy their food and um, their toppers are so expensive toppers are expensive they're like five bucks so I'm like mm, I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of this so I give them the regular dog food that I buy from of course the pet store it's a good brand I use Dr. Marty's it's kind of expensive but my dogs love it and then I top it with some of this and they love it I mean I don't think dogs are too picky but my dog is super picky like Harley she's a diva like she is so so picky and then um i actually sent dorothy a video um i was cleaning out the fish tank me and my husband were cleaning out the fish tank and we had to put the fish in a separate bucket um because we we're going to completely clean out the tank and harley literally lost her mind so it was so funny she was like growling because she wanted to get those fish so bad and i was trying to push her away and she's like mm -mm, don't push me away i want these fish these are my fish like she thinks everything is hers everything okay so let's go on to this bag a couple more food items that i picked up guys i tried to make the sugar cookies with the um cherry topping it didn't come out right I thought it would but um, my neighbor did say she'd share the recipe with me because maybe I missed something maybe it just it tasted kind of bitter she did use these though and then she used the sugar cookie mix so I'm missing an ingredient so she's gonna show me how to do it so when she does I'm gonna be prepared because I bought two cans of the mother's made cherry um, I'm probably gonna make some cookies for my husband's um, co-workers for Christmas and stuff so I grabbed those and I know these are so expensive at the grocery store and then I also grabbed um, some sugar cookie mix to make my little thumb cookies. And then I grabbed peanut butter mix to make some peanut butter cookies as well. And these aren't bad for buck 25, so I grabbed those. And then um, there's a lot of great cosmetics at the Dollar Tree, lots of new cosmetics, which is super duper exciting. There's a lot of new items. Um, so I'm gonna grab another bag. I know I grabbed that one, but let me grab another bag. That one has like all the other stuff and then we will continue. Okay, as you guys know, I've been on a mission to get my house in order and decorate and stuff for the Christmas holiday because my grandkids are coming and I don't want them to think I'm a total like Scrooge and not have any like Christmas tree up or anything. I did wrap a ton of presents um i got the bedroom done my husband's like office done my closet room is about 85 percent complete i still gotta tackle this and the rest of the house so i've been cleaning like a mad person because i hate putting like ornaments and a christmas tree and all this stuff up when my house is still like it's not 100 percent clean and i'm not happy with it so i'm gonna do a thorough cleaning and then put out all the christmas stuff but i did wrap all the presents like 90 percent of them have been wrapped so a lot a little bit of more christmas shopping to do and things like that but I need stuff to clean so I got some more I love my carpet um, carpet cleaner I love this stuff I even use this I've been using this in my um, makeup room and what I do is I spray it and then I use a old not a mop broom <laughs> think what it was called I use an old broom and I scrub it in the ground and then I go back and I mop it and I think it comes out really really good I love the smell of this too fights odors and it's foam foaming carpet cleaner spray and vacuum I don't have a lot of carpet in my house but I do have some and I have dogs so of course I need this a buck 25 I grab that and then um, I also grabbed a this lime away stuff is 
so good. I use it in the shower. I use it in the bathtub. I use it on the toilets, of course, and in the sinks. So this is the um, Calcium Rust Destroyer. Um, removes tough stains in seconds. So it does work. I love the way it works. So I grabbed another one of those so I can continue on my cleaning journey. And then I am so glad these are back. These foot powder sprays, love these. Soothes, cools, and comforts with some, with cornstarch. Super soothing, helps control wetness, fights odor all day. My husband uses Tenactin. Is it Tenactin? Um, he's a guy, he goes out in the field sometimes. He's always on the move. So this stuff helps a lot and he likes it. It's compared, I would compare it to Tenactin. So I did buy it because I could not find these for the longest time and I was so excited when I did see them. So I did buy three for him. So I'll put these in his room for him. I thought that was a great deal. And then I saw these on Sunday and I only grabbed one because I'm like, I think Dorothy would like this. And then she texts me and is just like, yeah, I need like four. So I gotta go back and get some more. These are the soothing heat for fast relief of minor aches and pains. It's the heat wrap. So you like put it around your shoulders. I know she suffers from, um, well, her mom does. I think she does too. I wanna say it's her mom has arthritis. She does a lot. She takes care of her mom. So you know, aches and pains, lifting, all that good stuff. So I grabbed her one. I know I got to go back and grab you some more. So I definitely will. But yeah, I grabbed those. And then, like I said, great makeup finds. I was excited. I did grab three of these because I, I think I looked in my stock. I have like one left. I should have grabbed more, but I only grabbed three. But these are the Glitter Vibes by Hard Candy. We haven't seen these since, whoo, forever. I don't know if this was, they were just making room and cleaning out. I love when it's inventory time sometimes because they'll grab stuff that's like fallen behind the cracks or somebody's put it in a different area and they clean out the whole store and they got to count everything. And that's always great for us because sometimes we can find stuff that, that we have not seen in a while. So I don't know if it's because they're cleaning out for Christmas to get rid of all the Halloween stuff, purging all the Thanksgiving and condensing it. And then they found these. So these got put out. I was so excited. I love, love, love these. You're the Glitter Fibes in 1676. It's pretty. It's perfect for New Year's. Like it has a ton of beautiful um, purples and I've never tried this myself, but I do love the colors of it. And I do love Hard Candy. It is a great product. Their eyeshadows are amazing, amazing, amazing. So I grabbed three. I should have grabbed more, but I was like, no, I don't really need them. I think I have some. No, I only have like one left, but that's okay. It's okay. They go for you guys. I don't need any more palettes, so I'm not even going to open and swatch it. As I've said in previous videos, I have a ton of palettes, like too many to count. And I, and you, Dollar Tree comes out with the best palette sometimes and then I go crazy and then I'm like I only have one set of eyes so there's only so much eyeshadow I can use so I'm not going to open that because I don't want to take the chance of me not you know using it before it expires you know what I mean okay so I do have an amazing subscriber prize planned for you guys you guys are going to see a sneak peek of that but let's go ahead and announce the winner of um last week's subscriber prize and then we're going to go ahead and continue on with this amazing hey guys, before we announce the winner of last week's amazing subscriber gift I wanted to give you a sneak peek into this week's I absolutely love it I love all of my subscriber gifts I have so much fun putting them together so this one is coming up next we're going to announce the winner of last weeks first and then you can start entering for this one how exciting is that so let's announce that winner and keep watching so you can enter for this amazing gift so congratulations to Romania Smith. You are the winner of that amazing subscriber prize. Please email me so I can get your package out to you this week. Packages, if you won a previous subscriber gift, packages are being shipped this week. So make sure to email me to claim your prize. My email is in the description box. Please congratulate Romania, I hope I'm saying that, Smith on winning last week's subscriber gift. And if you did not win, you saw that sneak peek. We have an amazing one coming up next. Let's go ahead and continue. So please congratulate last week's winner. They did win an amazing prize. And if you saw that sneak peek, you know this week's subscriber gift is pretty awesome. I've been on like, since I've been going to Ross and I went to Marshalls and Burlington, I love, love, love their little gift sets. They're inexpensive and I always keep a portion of my um, money that I make for my social media for you guys 
to give back to you guys. So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and liking the videos. I do them for you guys because I love giving back. You guys know that. I run a nonprofit. I love giving back to the community as well as giving back to you guys because I would not be here without you guys. Honestly, I would not. I would not be able to help as many people as I do without you guys watching, liking, and subscribing to these videos. And I'm excited because we are going to be doing Vlogmas again and um, this time I'm really going to try to make an effort so you guys can see all of the amazing things we do in our community thanks to you guys. So you'll see a lot more of our toy drives and our children's giving gifts and we have a lot of stuff planned for December. So I'm excited. Even if it's a small short video, I'm going to try my best to get it up. It's so hard to film though and be in charge and tell people where things go and hand out toys and you know keep on schedule. So it's hard but I'm going to try my very best even if it's only like a four minute video you guys at least get to see a small portion of what we do so i just want to say thank you guys you guys are amazing like absolutely amazing i'm just floored with what we've done this year just absolutely jaw dropped i could not do it without you guys so thank you thank you thank you okay um next thing i got i got another pair of the 341s i feel like i've bought every single pair in my area and if i find them in a different area you know i'll be buying them because i love those lashes i am actually wearing them today and i love them and you guys i have larger eyes so <laughs> the eyelashes they may not look as big as they look on here like they're pretty long, but the larger your eyelash, the larger your eyes are, the longer the eyelash should be because then it's really going to make pictures pop. It's going to, um, especially when you do pictures or you film or something, it's really, really going to make your eyes pop. You get shorter eye eyelashes, it's just going to make them look fuller and thicker, but I like longer because I got larger eyes and yeah big eyes okay um i did buy another one of these the facial concentration um serums i love this stuff you guys know it is a staple and if i see that i picked it up i only grabbed one because they only had one blue left they had a ton of the white and i don't know what i was thinking i should have grabbed the other one too but grabbed another one of those and then my favorite eyeliner i love this stuff this is the lair messier long lasting eyeliner in black i love the wand on it i love the way it just glides on i love that it lasts all day i don't have to reapply or anything like that that's what i love about makeup that lasts all day because you guys know i am running around 24 7 all day long the only time i ever like take my makeup off or if i um i want to apply it once and that's it and then i want to take it off at night and and this lasts all day. So if you have not tried this Dollar Tree that they sell at the DT, this um, eyeliner, I do highly recommend it. It is a great purchase for a buck twenty-five. Okay, next item I got was I ended up getting some more of these little hair clips, and I don't use these like on my hair. I use them to hold my hot curlers. So I've been on this like hot curler kick. I what I do is I usually use the pink rollers to curl down. The bottom portion of my hair and then I'll use the hot rollers for like these sections of my hair so this is all hot roller right here and then this is all like the goody pink rollers so um, I love the way it comes out and these hold those little hot hot rollers so well the ones that come with it no bueno they I guess I have too much hair or my hair is too thick um, but these work perfectly so I grabbed another three pack because I step on them <laughs> And I break them. I'm just like, I don't understand. I'm, I guess I just, I didn't make the basketball team. I'm not very good with like making shots. So I'll just throw it in the basket because I have a basket. I'll throw it in there and then I'll miss. And then I'll be like, oh, I'll pick it up later. And then I forget and then crunch. So I got another three pack just to have. And then I grabbed this for Amanda because she does wear the false eyelashes, but she wears the magnetic ones, swears by them, absolutely loves them. Um, she can't put on like the ones with the glue, the strips like I can with no problem. She It takes her hours to do. So since she works in the restaurant field and they have like a requirement, like a makeup requirement. Yeah, her her place is really, really nice where she works at. But they do have a makeup requirement. Red lips, eyelashes, and eyeliner. Everything else is, you know, optional. But so she does have to wear the eyelashes and she has to wear red lipstick, which she hates red lipstick. Like she hates, she hates lipstick, period. I love lipstick. She hates it. 
But um, I got her this to hold her little falsies in because um, her boyfriend was telling me that <laughs> he finds them all over the house and he calls them caterpillars. So I figured she could be like me and keep them in one spot, but she probably won't if she's like me because they're all over the house, all over. Like my husband sleeping, he has got a shirt on and he woke up and then there's like little caterpillars on his back and he's like, where did these come from? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, got her that. I thought that'd be cute to add to her Easter basket. I'm already thinking about Easter. To add to her stocking, which is, I think, full. She has to bring me her stocking so I can see. I have a little bit of room for Sarah. So, and um, I just need candy for the girls. So that'll be my next mission is to grab that candy. Okay, I do have another bag back there. I'm gonna grab that and then we will continue. Okay, guys, so we have our last bag here. First thing I want to show you is look at how pretty. I love getting wintry bags to shop in for the holidays. I'm just so into Christmas this year. I think it's because my grandkids are coming and it gets me in like the Christmas mood. If they weren't coming, I wouldn't be decorating. I wouldn't be going crazy like how I am. Um, I would just basically be getting their box together of goodies and then I would send um, their mom some cash to buy like the big present and I get to actually see them open it. It's going to be fun. Like I'm excited. We haven't had kids here in a couple years. I don't remember. Maybe you guys remember better than I do. Last year they were not here with us and I think the year before we might have went to them. We might have went to them. I'm not 100% sure because I can't remember. They usually come in the summer and I usually love when they come in the summer because they come before 4th of July and they love spending it with us. Um, but this year they're here for Christmas. Okay, Dorothy wanted these so I made sure to grab these and I need to grab another one because I forgot to grab one for my mother-in-law. These are the large print wall calendars and my mother-in-law loves it because it's large print and um, she can see, but you know, it's easier to see when it's a larger print. Like I think I need one this year too, maybe. But anyways, she wanted two of these. I grabbed those two for her so I can ship that off in her box. And then they had these, I wish they had more. These are the Gildan um, Stretch Poly Sock Line, No Show, Low Cut, Ankle, Mid Crew, and Crew. Those are the one. These are the low cut. Um, socks and these gildan are sold at walmart but buck 25 like i said i wish they had more um i was going to go i'm not there's no long beach blind center in november because our we go every month and our day lands on thanksgiving so they're doing like a special thing for them for thanksgiving but we will be going in the beginning of december and so i'm going to make some bags for them we play games and stuff i love going to the long beach blind center I do because it's so much fun just to hang out with them, play some games, give them some prizes, just love on them. They're veterans. So I do go to the Long Beach VA once a month and um, hang out with the Long Beach Blind Center. So there's people coming in and out. Um, they go there to learn new skills to help with them. Either A, learn, um, they were losing their sight or B, they've lost their sight and they need to learn new skills or see it's just a refresher course. So it's always fun to see who's there. Sometimes we get the regulars back where they're just going for a refresher and then sometimes there's some new people. So, and then their stories, some of them are heartbreaking and a lot of them are touching. Some of them are heartbreaking and some of them are super touching. It's just great to talk to somebody that's older than you and has been through life and some of them have been through war and just to hear their stories and to share it is just amazing to me. And I love, love, love hearing stories of people's past and what they've done with their lives. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. Some of their stories are absolutely amazing and just like jaw dropping, like, wow, you did all that. It's crazy. Okay. Next thing I got was the back and body aspirin and caffeine. This is just like a Midol works amazingly well. It's a dupe for it guys. Don't go buy Midol, buy this. It's a buck 25 and you get 24. I mean, they have something similar at target as well but it's cheaper at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed it there. Um, I grabbed these. I grabbed four. So I grabbed one, two, one for each of the grandkids. So these are the sensory puzzle chain. Um, it's the twisty beads. So I grabbed one for Lana. I thought these would be really cool. Oh, it is cool. I could totally play with this for hours. Look, it's pretty cool, guys. So I grabbed one for Lois, one for Lana. And then, so I'm going to put that in their bags. 
And then I grabbed one for Helen and I grabbed one for Jimmy. Now Helen and Jimmy are my God uh, children. So I grabbed one for each of them and I'm making them um, little special extra uh, Christmas presents. So yeah, so they got some gifts coming to them. They'll be super excited. And then I grabbed these, I grabbed um, these two for Megan's niece. Um, she loves, loves, loves Frozen. So I got the three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner in Elsa and Anna. Am I right? I've seen Frozen once, and I didn't watch it all the way through. I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was just too much singing. I was like, oh, my God, they're singing again. They're singing again. And it's just those songs get stuck in your head. And I was just like, turn it off, Amanda. Turn it off. I can't. She's like, come on finish watching it with me and I'm like do you want to build a snowman because I'm going to be singing that all day and we got to go to the snow and then we're going to build a snowman and she's just like I'm turning it off so I, I've i never seen the ending of Frozen I know I know I know I know but I don't have any the little ones are not by me so it's not like they watched it yet I don't I think they've watched it already but they're not really into Frozen they're more into right now I think it's Harry Potter is he it was Star Wars last year but I think they just got into Harry Potter. I really want them to um, get into the Hunger Games too. Like they're um, going to be 12 in January. So I think it's about time to introduce them to the Hunger Games. I love anything sci-fi-ish. Um, and then I got two. Oh no, one of it leaked out a little bit. Darn it. I got two of the uh, SpongeBob uh, bubble baths as well. So I'm going to put one in Helen's and one in Jimmy's gift for them. I thought they would like it. They smell good. This is in pineapple scented. It does smell good. Just be careful with the bubble bath, guys. It is tear-free hypoallergenic formula. Um, I know my girls have super sensitive skin, so I didn't even bother with it. I don't think my god my god kids do, but just in case, I you know, I'll just warn their mom, just use a little bit. You don't need a lot. But um, it's pretty cool. SpongeBob. Love that. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed the crafter square jute cord i've been using this as my ribbon for my gifts it's cute i like it so i use i got ribbon trust me i got ribbon i just i like this so i grabbed one another one of these to finish wrapping the rest of my presents and guys i'm all looking around i'm like is that it <laughs> That's everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. Quite a large haul. Lots of new items. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. And most importantly, I'm excited to share that subscriber gift. So without further ado, I want to say thank you so much for watching this haul and uh, for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It means the world to me. And I want to show you guys the upcoming gift for this week. So let's take a look at that right now absolutely love this week's subscriber gift and i hope you guys like this one too definitely check back tomorrow for my dollar tree shop with me we have another amazing subscriber gift in there and i had so much fun putting that one together as well but we're gonna go over this and then i'll let you guys know how you can enter i hope you guys really like this one over here we have the Kara palette it's one of my favorite palettes it's very neutral perfect for you know just a very casual day you can dress it up dress it down very neutral colors and i thought you guys would like that and then the cozy socks their smoothing foot mask it's with cocoa butter and peppermint by spa life i've also included the modern expressions facial tool set for you guys and that includes the jade roller um the gua sha and sheet facial mask and i thought oh my gosh it's so pretty okay and then we have the baileys and harding um body wash for you guys and this is the signature collection it's a fragrance the shower gel i thought this was so pretty perfect for these wintry months and then i'm also including the bloomfield this is the body scrub with energizing bergamot essential oil lime fruit extract whole leaf extract and panax ginseng root extract it's by julie foster aromatherapist and then we have the um, beauty intuition moody neutrals for you guys it's long lasting and smooth application eyeshadows look at this deluxity los angeles new york the perfect gift and it has a to and from it includes this beautiful like clutch wallet and the little change purse for you guys i thought you guys would really like that i fell in love with it and i hope you guys like it too i'm also including this small 
smells so good gucci perfume for you guys and then this beautiful geneva black and gold watch the freeman feeling beautiful apricot creamy scrub for you guys the realer confidence in my glow highlighter palette it's so pretty I have one I have one just like it and I want to shout out Lady G for um giving these to you guys. She gave me a bunch of cosmetics and asked me to use them not only for you guys, keep some for myself, use it in my beauty baskets for donate, but also give some to you guys. So thank you so much Lady G. And then over here we have the line by hard candy it's a beautiful lip artist highlighter and lip balm for you guys and then the wet and wild first gel gel lip liner and then i have this beautiful body ecology hand care set wintry scents it's in sugar cookie so we have the nourishing hand soap we have the hand cream and we have the shimmer mist for you to enjoy so guys, that is everything in this week's subscriber gift. I hope you guys really like this one. Let's go ahead and go over the rules on how you can enter for this amazing prize. If you would like to enter one, you must be subscribed to my channel. Definitely double check. A lot of times if you don't comment a lot here on YT, they will automatically unsubscribe you. So definitely check that you are subscribed to the channel. Two, you need to like this video. Three, this contest is open to anybody with a Dollar Tree near them. Just keep in mind Dollar Tree does need to be in your state and region. You do need to be over the age of 18 to enter and over the age of 18 to claim your prize. If you could please share this video. Now, like I say in all my videos, when I do subscriber gifts, 98% of the proceeds that I make for my social media accounts does go to my nonprofit. I do keep 2%, guys, and that is to give back to you guys in forms of amazing subscriber gifts. And guys, I am so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers, and I'm telling you, it is a subscriber gift you are not going to want to miss. It includes a Michael Kors bag. It includes so many amazing prizes. So it's the faster I get there, the sooner that subscriber gift is going to come out. I've been collecting some amazing stuff, not only from my, from my own personal pocket, my husband, my mom, my aunt, everybody's so excited to see that milestone. So we're going to make it big. It's going to be amazing. So I can't wait for that. So make sure that you are that you like this video, you're subscribed to the uh, channel. If you could please share this video, that also helps the algorithm and helps my channel grow. The more I grow, the bigger your subscriber giveaways get, as well as the more people I'm able to help in need. I mean, 2023, you guys have been phenomenal to me, absolutely phenomenal to me and the community. We help so many people, so I'm just so grateful to you guys. So I hope you guys really, really like this subscriber gift. And my final rule, comment below and put hashtag Dollar Tree shop with me 2023. That is all one word. It's the hashtag sign Dollar Tree shop with me 2023. That is all one word. And let me know what your favorite winter smell is. I love going, even though I don't do the live uh, Christmas trees, I love going to the Christmas tree lot and smelling that fresh pine. I also like the smell of fresh baked bread and cookies like chocolate chip cookies that just reminds me of like Santa's coming it reminds me of Christmas what is your Christmas smell like what reminds you of Christmas what smell do you like to either wear as far as a perfume a wintry scent what reminds you of this Christmas season or this uh, wintry season let me know post a comment see never difficult I just ask that you follow the rules um never in difficult to enter and super easy to win. So that's it guys. I hope you guys all start entering to win. Super easy roll this time. Now I hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And remember if you like these videos please remember to like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I, I'm going to be talking to you guys real, real soon. Don't forget to check out my amazing Dollar Tree shop with me. That'll be up tomorrow. And we're going to have an amazing subscriber gift in there. Start entering, share this video. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.